Welcome to week 46 of Esper's Refit and a very Merry Christmas to you all. This week we only have a few seconds of boat update news because it's been raining pretty much constantly. We've also been occupied with the wedding of two yard workers and we finally relocate four of the six kittens who have been living in the yard office. So, boat update first. The most exciting progress has been Tom's work on the swimming platform. We selected a substantial piece of teak for this construction and now have a beautifully shaped one inch thick area to land those huge tuna we catch every day. Not. Dang, in amongst varnishing duties, gave Esper's top sides a clean, having now removed the cling film. <laughs> This week, we were invited to the wedding of two of the yard workers, Twolek and Wa. We've said before how PSS Boatyard is as much of a community as it is a place of work, and Friday was proof of this. Julie of PSS and Gong, one of the workers, treated Wa to the full works with dress, makeup, and hair treatment. After posing for photos outside the workers' homes, we were then invited for lunch. The Burmese community had really gone to town on a fantastic feed of shrimps, duck, chicken and vegetables, a supply of which was never ending, not to mention the beer, Coca-Cola and water. And finally, for those interested, and specifically for the Totem crew, a kitten update. Over the last couple of months, PSS has accumulated six kittens from various sources, who are lovingly cared for by Siobhan, Marin and Niall of Sailing Yacht Totem. It was time, however, for the kittens to move on and Ma, another worker from Myanmar, volunteered to take them all. Suti is still too small to leave, so she is still being cared for along with Dusty. But with the help of the workers' children, we escorted the other four through the village of Chebilan. Carmel of Sailing Yacht Tamer took patches. Julie held Hussar, whilst Liz took Sam and Nala. It was quite a scene. A group made up of farangs, local kids on bikes and cats marching through the village much to the amusement of everyone who lived on the road between the boatyard and the ice factory where Mark lives. OK, Totem crew, we are now right by the ice factory. It turns out this is going to be the cat's new home. And I know from experience that this is a very good place for cats because the fishermen come down here and fill up their boats full of ice, so there's always plenty of fish around. I don't know how they're all going to get on. We'll see. Say hello. How am I? How am I? How am I? Let them. How am I? 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 <laughs> when we arrived, we were invited into what we thought was Ma's very humble abode. But it turned out this was a spare room next to her own house, where she already has two cats. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, eyes are right, isn't it? The kids release the four kittens into their new home. After a nervous start and lots of sniffing, it didn't take long for our lot to get comfortable. <laughs> Meanwhile, the boys made monkeys of themselves by climbing a tree, shaking it furiously and releasing its fruit. And with that, kitten transfer phase one was complete. And as we approach the end of the year, with more cloud and rain, we wish everyone a happy festive season from Esper in PSS Boatyard, Chepilang, Thailand.